Hello, anyone and everyone, I am Echo, and today we are exploring Final Fantasy VII. And unfortunately, it seems the timer runs down while you're in the save menu because we're now two minutes behind where we were a second ago. But that's fine. The game gives you plenty of time to escape. So we're, we'll just, uh... Oh, jeez. These guys, these guys are tough. Tough nuts to crack, ain't they? Because they each take two hits to kill. And I don't know how many hits that uh, big robot there takes, but it's probably at least two. Because he's really big. You know, normally big things have lots of health. So, uh... That's dead, right? Yep, okay, good. Move on to the next one, then. Nice, nice. Did a little bit extra damage. Smoke shot. Oh, no. Don't be... Don't be doing that, robot. That's a dirty trick. Robots are supposed to be honorable. I have to say, I really like the, uh, the graphic for the timer, though. It looks very cool. And I also like that it keeps going during battles. This, this section is actually very tense if you're playing it for the first time. Because, uh, you know, with all the random battles and everything going off, you don't really know if, uh, if you actually have enough time to, to get out. And there's this dude. This dude who messed up. You alright? My leg got stuck. Thanks. And I'm gonna jump over your head. Get on the ladder, Cloud. Jesus. It's not dangerous at all, though, jumping around when you're hovering above the world. And these, like, rafters and ladders and crap. Whoop, up the stairs, Cloud. Yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately, the uh, Xbox 360 controller does not have the best analog sticks in the world for accurately walking around. It's gonna take a little bit of getting used to. Maybe I could find a way to like do some kind of emulator to use a PS3 or PS4 controller with this game. I'm sure it's possible, but it's probably a lot of work. Probably more work than I'm willing to do. We'll see how things turn out. For now, it's working fine. Not too bad. What are you guys standing around for? Code deciphered. Yeah. All right, be careful. Code deciphered. Yeah. You guys really love deciphering those codes that you already found. Don't you? Don't you? Enough with the beam guns! Guys, come on. Just, uh, just get out of the way. Let's leave, please. This is entrapment. You have to let me leave. Seriously. Alright, seriously, enough. Kill them already, guys. Do more damage! Like Cloud, see? Like Cloud does. Actually, if Cloud's consistently doing more damage, I probably could have had him target one of the other ones and killed it instantly, while Barret would take two of his turns to kill one. If I was uh, paying more attention, I'd probably have thought of doing that. It's also been a long time since I've played a, a JRPG of any kind, actually. Whether whether it be Final Fantasy VII or anything else. Oh no, Jesse! You tripped again, you dork. Yeah, no, that we would totally have died from that. That's a really big explosion. Like stupendously big. That should keep the planet going, at least a little longer. Yeah. Ugh. I imagine that's the sound he's making. Okay, now everyone get back. We already blew up the reactor, now we have to blow up more stuff so we can get out. Hey, you guys really planned ahead, didn't you? Look at all that fire! There's no way they didn't just burn alive in there. Alright, now let's get out of here. 
Rendezvous at Sector 8 Station. Split up and get on the train. Hey! If it's about your money, wait till we get back. I'll figure out an accent to use for Barrett in one of these episodes, I assure you. Maybe episode 5? Maybe episode 50? I don't know. We'll, we'll do it eventually. We'll, we'll settle on one. Maybe I'll make him sound Jewish, just to make it funny. Oh no, they bumped the girl. Oh, how could they? Flower girl. Excuse me? What happened? You better get out of here. Nothing. Hey. You look like you sell flowers. Mmm. You better get out of here. Well, are we gonna roleplay as Cloud? Or are we gonna make him seem like a little bit less of a douche? Let's make him seem like a little bit less of a douche. How about that? You, be, you better get out of here. Really? I don't know what's going on, but alright. I just kind of walk around and, like, stare at people. I claim that I sell flowers if you ask what I'm doing, but really, I'm just, you know, I'm a people person. I like to stare at people. I don't care if it makes me look creepy, it's, it's, it's fun. Just what the hell is going on? Ow. Ooh, what the heck was that electricity? Oh, it was on the, uh, it's on the electrical outlet right there. That's cool, that's a nice detail. I think I might have ran through this section too fast to notice it the first time I played that to play this game because I don't remember that. Wonder what that is on the wall over there. Let's see. Don't be fooled by Shinra. Mako energy doesn't last forever. Mako is the planet's life source. The end is in sight. Protectors of the planet Avalanche. So our bioterrorism group also does their own propaganda. Soldier. Hey, you there. Shinra soldiers, fight them later. Screw you. Don't shoot me, bro. Don't tase me. Oh no. They've come from every direction. It's a regular group thing. I don't have time to mess around with you guys. Enough babbling. Get him. They, wait a minute, they couldn't use the longer armed cloud, the better looking one for the FMV cutscene. They used ch you know, chunky, like, what do you, you call them, black armed cloud there? Wedge, cloud never came. Cloud, think he was killed? No way. Cloud. I love how, like, at least two of them didn't trust me, and the others were, like, weirded out. What's the soldier, ex-soldier dude doing here helping Avalanche? And now that I'm gone, they're all, like, swooning over me, wondering why I didn't show up. Yeah, that's, that's consistent character writing right there. Big, say, do you think Cloud's on the roof of the train? Going to stay on and fight for Avalanche? How the hell would I know? Do I look like a mind reader? Hmm. If y'all weren't such screw-ups. Hey, Barrett. What about her money? Uh, nothing. Sorry. Don't ask about the money that I promised to pay you. I'll punch you if you ask me. Don't ask me things. Oh my god, we totally didn't see that coming, Cloud, it's you! Oh! Looks like I'm a little late. Heh heh heh. You damn right you're late. Come waltzing in here making a big scene. There you go, that's, that's better, that sounds a little bit more like a really big black guy. It's no big scene, just what I always do. <laughs> Fuck you, you little cunt. Having everyone worry like that, you don't give a damn about no one but yourself. Hmm, you were worried about me? What? That's coming out of your shared hotshot. Wake up. We're moving out, follow me, oh god. Oh. Thanks to you to tell me to wake up and then I'm going yawn. 
ruin the tension of the moment. We're moving out. Follow me. Let's just hop over these boxes. Hey, Cloud. You were great back there. Heh <laughs> heh. Cloud. We'll do even better next time. Who forms a sentence like that? You just laugh and then say their name really loudly with an exclamation point clearly emphasized in the way you say their name before then making a proclamation. We'll do better next time. Nobody talks like that. Shut up, Biggs. You suck. You're the worst person in this group. Even the fat guy is better than you. At least he has a personality. Jesse, careful. I'll shut this. Her mouth is still open. She's constantly surprised by everything. <laughs> Oh, Cloud, your face is pitch black. There you go. Say, thanks for helping me back there at the reactor. Now, something I actually wonder is if, if you don't help her out, if you just, like, walk past her, does she actually, like, does she help herself out and manage to get out on time? Or maybe the game, like, suddenly stops you and Cloud's like, oh, I have to go back and help her. Or does it actually let her die? I wonder. That's something I'd like to maybe test out sometime. Not sure. Never, never actually heard about that. Never heard of anybody trying. Okay, let's just search for items just in case. They often like to hide items in these sorts of games. Yes, they do. Alright, I'm not seeing anything. Okay. Let's jump back there into the boxes with them. Oh, these aren't boxes. It's a much fancier looking section of the cart. Last train out of Sector 8 Station. Last stop is Sector 7. Oh, my god. I'm tired. I apologize. I should take a nap or something. Last stop is Sector 7, Train Graveyard. Expected time of arrival is 12.23 a.m. Midgard Standard Time. Nobody expects the train to be on time that precisely at 12.23. Nobody. Nobody at all. Also, why would you ever ride a train going to a place called the Train Graveyard? That sounds like a really bad plan. Just, just be honest here. That is bad plan numero uno. And dos. And trace. And quattro. This is why I hate the last train. Oh boy, all sorts of ruffians, hoodlum types. Oh no, they always ride the train at night. None of them have lives during the day. Huh? This is my house, so make yourselves a home. Oh, if this is your house, that means we're your guests. That means you should give stuff. Give me a potion. Give me some orange juice or something. I'm thirsty. My throat's real parched. You see the headlines in the Shinra Times? The terrorists that bombed the number one reactor are based somewhere in the slums. Blowing up a reactor. They sure have put some thought into this one. They must have a real calculating leader. I wonder what they'll do next. I like that, uh... Hold up a second. Let's wait here. I wonder if Barrett actually looked at this guy, because I saw his head turn and look at the guy. I wonder if that's actually in response to what the guy says. Or if maybe that's just an animation that Barrett loops through to make it, you know, to make the scene look more alive. Let's try talking to the guy again, see what he, if he does it again. They must have a real calculating leader. I wonder what they'll do next. Yeah, Barrett looks right at him when he says that. That is such a cool freaking detail. Hell yeah. What's up, Barrett? Stop acting like a damn kid. Sit down and shut up. Okay. And you? This train hasn't switched to security mode yet. I'm sure that will change by tomorrow. Huh. Someday Avalanche is gonna be famous, and me too. What kind of a name is Wedge? Seriously, Biggs and Wedge? Jesus, those aren't even names, those are adjectives. Please, don't bother the other passengers. I'm trying to talk to Jesse. Jesse, hey Cloud, you want to look at this with me? It's a map of the Midgar rail system. Let's look at it together. I'll explain it to you. I like this kind of stuff. Bombs and monitors. You know, flashy stuff. What? 
flashy stuff. That's not exactly how I would describe bombs and monitors. But okay. Okay, it's about to start. This is a complete model of the city of Midgar, circa 1997. It's about a one ten thousandth scale. The top plate is about 50 meters above the ground. A main pillar supports the plate in the center, and there are other support pillars. Built in each section. Psst, whisper, whisper. The number one reactor we blew up was in the northern section. Then there's number two, number three, all the way up to the to the number. Eight. Wait, okay. It's, whoa, that's so. Hmm, that's another weird way to phrase that sentence. Translation issues, I guess. Thank you, Square Enix of the 90s. Then there's number two, number three, all the way up to the number eight reactor. The number eight reactors provide Midgar with their electricity. Each town used to have a name, but no one in Midgar remembers them. Instead of names, we refer to them by numbered sectors. That's how things turned out. Phew, look what's next. Look! This is the route this train is on. <sighs> Eight? Rax Station? Huh? Uh, the route spirals around the main pillar. We should be coming around the center right now. Each checkpoint has an ID sensor device. It checks the identities and backgrounds of each passenger on the train. Ah, it's really freaking high tech. And it's linked up to the central data bank at Shinra headquarters. Whisper, whisper. We definitely look suspicious, so we're using fake IDs. I like imagining people actually saying the word whisper when they do that. Jesse, speak of the devil! That light means that we're in the ID security check area. Whisper, whisper. When the lights go off, you never know what kind of creeps will come out. We're almost packed out. What a relief. <coughs> Yawning and coughing, this episode's just the best of every world. Um... Yeah, funny that the terrorists are talking about uh, about creeps coming out when the lights are out. It's kind of uh, it's kind of funny there. Okay, though, looks like well done. Oh, Barrett, look, you can see the surface now. This city don't have no day or night. If that place weren't there, we could see the sky. If that plate weren't there, we could see the sky. Floating city. Pretty unsettling scenery. Huh? Never expect to hear that out of someone like you. You're just full of surprises. The upper world. A city on a plate. It's because of that fucking pizza that people underneath are suffering. Pizza? What? Okay. It's wherever. And the city below is full of polluted air. On top of that, the reactor keeps draining up all the energy. And why doesn't everyone move on to the plate? To know, probably because they ain't got no money. Or maybe. Because they love their land, no matter how polluted it gets. Because they're idiots. I know. No one lives in the slums because they want to. It's like this train. It can't run anywhere except where its rails take it. Now we get a nice drawn out shot of the plate and not much else. Okay. Not that much of a drawn out shot then, I guess. Oh well. Why did you have to jump off the train? Why? You too, Jesse! What? Jesse, you're supposed to be the cool one of this group. Despite the fact that you trip constantly and get in constant danger. You're supposed to be a bit more confident. Yo, get over here, all ya! No. I go my own way. Oh, fine, it's forcing me to walk to them. Alright. This mission was a success, but don't get lazy now. The hard part's still to come. Don't y'all be scared of that explosion. 
Yeah, let's all just keep talking about this without even whispering right in front of the guard that was standing behind us that we had to pass to get off the train. Because the next one's going to be bigger than that. Meet back at the hideout. Move out. Awesome. Awesome. Fantastic. Hey, you. Did you, you, you didn't hear any of that, did you? When you've been a train man as long as I have, you see a lot of people and a lot of lives. People meeting, parting, joy, sadness. After a while, it doesn't even get to you anymore. Oh, that's so deep. I feel you, man. I really do. Like, seriously. It's, uh, it's... It's, it's, it's horrible. Oh, man, it's so horrible. Can we not go this way? No? Okay, I guess not. Never mind. I thought, I, I thought there would be something over there, but I guess not. Okay. There is definitely something over here, though. Ladder. Oh, and a random battle. What the hell are we going to fight out here? Dogs. Great. Cloud's worst nightmare, and I targeted the wrong one again. I should have done it. Oh, it doesn't matter. They attack too fast. They attacked so fast, I couldn't even get a hit in. There you go. Hit the dog. Break its bones fairly quickly. Take that, pupper. Oh, it's a ladder. We have to, we have to interact with it to climb up it. They couldn't have just made a, uh, a thing, you know? That would, that would have been too simple. Okay. Think, uh, where we jump down. Is there a, is there no reason to be up here? Is it only on the next one? Okay, fine then. Fine. Fine. Get down. Climb the ladder cloud as slowly as you can. I'm in no hurry. Honest. It's not like I'm trying to be somewhere. Sheesh, man. Good job. Warning, warning. Enemy sighted. Yeah, too late. You didn't warn your friends of one damage? Really? Dang. These things suck. And I think... Was that also... It didn't say preemptive strike. But... Okay, we can't move down there. Can we move over here? No? How do we get over there then, damn it? I forget. Maybe we're supposed to come back here later. I guess I don't remember this area as well as I thought I did. Maybe we can... Oh, really? Okay. Sure. We'll just immediately do a second one of these. Because why not? Enemy sighted, whoa! Yeah, it didn't say preemptive strike this time or the last time. But, uh... But it still gives the whole enemy sighted, uh... Message. As if they... Were unaware of my presence. Also, I should have selected the other one accidentally. I, I didn't mean to hit that one there. Stop it with the fire! Yeah, I got my limit break coming up. Next fool who tries to mess with me is getting his, uh, his shit pushed in. That's what I do. I'm Cloud. Oh, wait. No, all right. I wanted to try and jump down here. Onto that one. Can I? Nope. Okay. Cool. Cool. I think maybe... Maybe we just have to come back at a later time or from a different direction. Because it does not seem like we can jump down there. Damn. Oh no! Attack of the puppers! Pupper 2, up harder. Let's just totally overkill it. Why not? Yep. Anytime now you want to fill up their little timer bar. Thank you for letting us take the action. You're fantastic. Alright. All right, let's just go back now, jump down the ladder, and walk back to where we came from, because apparently I, uh, let's just try over here real quick, just in case we can walk over this. No, we can't. Okay. We cannot. Let's go back the way we came. 
If I miss something, then, uh, yell at me in the comments. I don't mind, really. I'm not letting you go tonight. Wow! <clears throat> what? Isn't there somewhere we could go to be alone? Wow! There's only the train graveyard around here, and they say there's ghosts around, too. Damn! What? I'm not letting you go tonight. Wow! Okay, those two are having a conversation that doesn't make much sense, to be honest. Where are you guys going? Oh, you're going that way? Okay, I'll go this way, because there's a thing over here that we can read. Or maybe not. I thought we could read it. We can talk to him, at least. Hey, now! Oops! What on earth are you doing? Just butt out! Jeez! Huh? You came to see it, too? There is a bombing on top. If this pillar should come down, everyone in the slums is dust. Well, there's no point in worrying about that. Hey, check it out. It's huge, ain't it? It's totes huge. Whoa. Oh my god. So the, the thing we blew up, the reactor that we blew up, was on top of that pillar, apparently. That's one of the support pillars that holds the plate up. Huh. Seems like we're kind of dumbasses, doesn't it? To be doing that and potentially risking making the whole thing fall and killing millions of innocent people. But anyway, hey, this is a strange and wonderful place. This is my place, but you can come here when you want. See ya, bro. Gee, thanks, bro. Yo, Cloud, over here now. I don't do what you say. You're not my dad. Screw you, I'm going down. Oh. Uh, uh, um... Excuse me, you cannot pass without the proper clearance. Did I do good this time? You gotta be tougher. But, uh, I... Uh, 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 uh. Oh no. Alright, well, hey. Uh, we are unfortunately uh, close to being out of time, and this is a good place to stop it. So we're gonna end it here. And I'll see you all in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this so far, and I hope you all continue to enjoy it. I'll see you all next time. Uh, bye bye